also, I suppose it's because with your kids, mm. you could spoil them, but you have to try and be strict with them. Yeah, it's tough, like, because, you know, as, as, as you, you're doing all right, you want to give them the life that you didn't have, you yeah. know, so, you, you know, but you have to be strict because you don't want to turn them into children that you hated when you were a child. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't want them to be those kids. So it's tough, you know. Um, I remember taking my daughter to get new school shoes, so I took all five... I don't know if you've done this, guy, but you've taken all of them out just by yourself, like an idiot. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> took them all out. We've gone to buy new school shoes, and it's... Uh, they're busy day in the department store, and uh, that most of them are being fine. And then just one daughter is just kicking off, just going for it, right? And, and I've, you've not got the skills that your parents had, because you know laws have changed. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> so <laughs> you've got to like, find other ways. You've got to like talk to them like a children's <laughs> TV presenter, haven't you? Got... What get seems down to be the level. problem. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, no, no. And you get getting close, you're like, when you get home, you are dead. Like, you have to do it like <laughs> nobody sees you. And, uh, <laughs> so she's being a nightmare, and I, can't, I just couldn't wrangle her, couldn't, I just couldn't work it out. And, uh, and, and, and what happens is, the other thing, with, when you've got many children, is that your other children start being good, really good, but not good because they want to be good. They want to be good to highlight how bad the bad one's being. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, we're being good, aren't we, Daddy? You're like, yeah, but it's not coming from a good place. <laughs> <laughs> And then, uh, in the end, I had to do that thing that parents do sometimes where, where you go overboard with the yeah. punishment. So, like, when they're not eating their dinner, you know, you're like, right then, you'll never eat again! <laughs> you know, you say, you can't, can't back that up, you know. <laughs> and I did it to my daughter, she was like, I want these shoes on, she was being spoiled. And I said, right then, you'll have no shoes. <laughs> 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 so I got shoes for the other kids, and I've got so I've got these like four pairs of shoes and none for her. <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm very very rare that I stand by a punishment, right? And I, like even when I'm sending them upstairs, they're, they're halfway down before they've got there, you know. <laughs> so I'm in this queue, and and uh, my daughter's gone from being naughty to turning the waterworks on, and of course it's a new crowd around her. <laughs> so these people just think she's like Cinderella, like not getting any shoes, no shoes for you. <laughs> And she goes, and then she said the worst thing, and as parents, you'll, you'll feel this, right? It's the worst thing that anyone can say to you, right? What your children can say to you. She said, Daddy, and I went, what? <laughs> she said, there's all these people looking, like, front and back of the kitchen. She went, Daddy, why do you make the rest of the world laugh, but you make me cry? <laughs> 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 you got three pairs of shoes that day. <laughs>